Have you ever wondered from where the internet came? Let us discuss the brief history of internet and learn how this internet was invented and how it evolved to an extent that now we cannot think of our lives without it. So we will start our discussion with the historical perspective of the internet. I don't know what the cold war between USA and Russia gave to the world but definitely the internet is one of those very useful inventions whose foundation was laid during cold war days. Russia launched the world's first satellite Sputnik into the space on 4th of October 1957. This was clearly the victory of Russia over the cyberspace and as a counter step ARPA or Advanced Research Projects Agency, the research arm of Department of Defense United States declared the launch of ARPANET or Advanced Research Project Agency Network in early 1960s. This was an experimental network and was designed to keep the computers connected to this network to communicate with each other even if any of the node due to the bomb attack fails to respond. The first message was sent over the ARPANET, a packet switching network, by Leonard Klinrock Laboratory at University of California, Los Angeles. You will be surprised to know that the first message that was sent over internet was letter LO. Actually, they intended to send word login, but only the first two letters reached its destination at second network node at Stanford Research Institute and before the last three letters could reach the destination, the network was down due to glitch. Soon, the error was fixed and the message was resent. The major task that ARPANET have to play is to develop rules for communication, that is, protocols for communicating over ARPANET. The ARPANET in particular led to the development of protocols for internetworking in which multiple separate networks could be joined into a network of networks. It resulted in the development of TCP IP protocol suit, which specifies the rules for joining and communicating over ARPANET. Soon after, in 1986, NSF or National Science Foundation backbone was created and five US universities computing centers were connected to form NSFNet. The participating universities were Princeton University, Cornell University, University of Illinois, Carnegie Mellon University, and General Atomics San Diego Supercomputer Center. NFSNet, the successor of ARPANET, became popular by 1990s and ARPANET was decommissioned. In 1965, Donald Davis and his colleagues at the UK National Physical Laboratory independently discovered the idea of packet switching and later created a small-scale packet-switching version of ARPANET. Michigan Educational Research Information Tried formed Merit Networks in 1966, which was funded and supported by State of Michigan and the National Science Foundation. France also developed a packet-switching network known as Cyclades in 1973. Now there were many parallel systems working on different protocols and the scientists were looking for some common standards so that networks could be interconnected. In 1978, TCP IP protocols were ready and by 1983, the TCP IP protocol were adopted by ARPANET. In 1981, the integration of two large network took place. NFS developed computer science network, which is known as CSNet and was connected to ARPANET using TCP IP protocol suite. Now the network was not only popular among the research community, but the private players also took interest in the network. NFS supported a speed of 56 kilobytes per second. It was upgraded to 1.5 megabits per second in 1988 to facilitate the growth of network by involving Merit Network, IBM, MCA and State of Michigan. After the corporates realized the strength and merit of this network, they participated in the development of the network to ripe its benefits. By late 1980s, many internet service providers emerged to provide the backbone for carrying the network traffic. By 1991, NFSNet was expanded and was upgraded to 45 megabits per second. 
Many commercial ISPs provided backbone service and was popular among the corporates. On 30th April 1995, the NSF Net Backbone Service has been successfully ported to a new architecture and the NSF Net Backbone was decommissioned. Now the internet could carry commercial traffic. Now more and more universities and research centers throughout the world were connected to it. This network was very popular among the research community and in 1991, National Research and Education Network known as NREN was founded and the World Wide Web was released. Initially, the role of internet was only limited to file transfer. The credit of internet, what we see today, goes to Tim Berners-Lee who introduced World Wide Web. With the advent of WWW, there was a transformation on how the network was used. Now this web of information can be used to retrieve any information available over the internet. Software called Browser was developed to browse the internet. It was developed by researchers at University of Illinois in 1992 and named as Mosaic. This browser enabled to browse the internet the way we browse it today. With so many devices connected to the internet, we require some mechanism to uniquely identify